How many of you know what Canadian English is? What are some of the stereotypical ways of saying things in Canada? Maybe you can think of A, or as this picture illustrates, a peculiar way of saying a boat. Now, how many of you actually speak like that? How do people speak in Vancouver? In the 1980s, a team of UBC researchers decided to describe Vancouver English, and they created a massive database that since then has been a major source of data for studies on Vancouver English. It was an amazing project. However, I was surprised to learn that only people born and raised in the greater Vancouver area were chosen to be the participants. Only people were considered to be speakers of Vancouver English. Now, we all in this audience live in the greater Vancouver area. We speak English every day. Can you please raise your hand if you were born and raised here as well? Okay, so about one-fifth of the audience are speakers of Vancouver English as it was defined in the 19, 1980s. What about the rest of us? What language do we speak? Now, let me tell you something really interesting about the language. It does not exist without us, its speakers. We create the language every day as we speak it. Let me give you an example. Every time you need to say something, you have several options to choose from. For example, you can say, I don't have any money. Or you can say, I ain't got no money. It depends on the context. It depends on who you talk to, of course. All these variants, so-called features, are called in this large feature pool, a pool of variants. And all the speakers of a language equally contribute to it. Now, if you look at this picture, uh, it shows the situation that I just told you about, the research conducted in the 1980s. Only people born and raised in the greater Vancouver area contribute to the feature pool. But think about this. How many people you talk to today and how many of them are native speakers of English? Where's your bus driver from? Your hairdresser? Maybe your partner or your spouse? What language do they speak? Today, up to 40% of residents of Greater Vancouver area are immigrants and they speak language other than English as their home language. And the variety of English they speak has some very distinct features that they contribute to the feature pool in their everyday interactions among themselves and with native speakers of English. Therefore, I think today the situation can be better described by this graph. Again, all the residents of Greater Vancouver area contribute to the feature pool as they speak. In my research, I want to focus on such speakers irrespective of their race, birth, place of birth or accent, because I believe that uh, we all the speakers of the language and we all create the language as we speak it. Finally, why should we care? Because workplace accent discrimination is still a big issue today. Because in our schools, up to 80% of children speak non-native varieties of English and the teachers need to know how to help them to succeed. Finally, because the cohesiveness of the Canadian society today depends to a large extent on how well people understand each other and what language they speak. So to come back to the question I asked in the beginning, what is Vancouver English? I think that's a language that me and you speak every day. Thank you.